Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through the olive green cloaks you might have seen on one of my units of Chaos Warriors. So over a white scar undercoat, I'm just going to begin by doing two thin coats of Deathworld Forest and Castellan Green, uh, approximately 50-50 for that. And just looking to get a smooth transition all over the cloak. So with the Deathworld Forest and Castellan Green mix now dry, I'm going to move on to Deathworld Forest and just looking to go over most of the cloak, uh, focusing mostly on the raised areas and then wet blending it with Elysian Green and eventually highlighting up to Ogren Camo as well. And as you can see, I do still have my mix of the Deathworld Forest and Castellan Green, uh, just in case I wanted to go back and uh, fix up any of the uh, recesses just to darken them a little bit. So the most important thing I found with wet blending is just to be patient with it and just gradually build up those colors and get a really smooth transition between them and also focusing the lighter tones uh, on the raised areas so as you can see just working the Elysian green over that uh, major raised area on the cloak and now just adding a little bit of ogren camo uh, to the Elysian green and just gradually building that up further And as you can see as well, just avoiding the recesses there, as I really wanted to get a, just a nice sort of gradual um, blend uh, away from the recesses and then to the raised areas. And for this technique as well, I always also highly recommend getting a wet palette. In fact, just getting a wet palette in general, um, it's a very useful tool and you can pick them up uh, for a pretty reasonable price, uh, as they tend to last quite a long time uh, with care.
And as you can see, just really focusing the tip of my brush, uh, just to have as much control as possible. And just very, very gradually building up those colors. And also just allowing the paint, uh, just a moment there, as you can see, just to allow it to dry um, ever so slightly uh, before moving on to the next step. And just as a final touch there uh, for the highlighting stages, just focusing on an edge highlight of mostly Ogren camo. Now, as you can see for this next step, I already added a little bit of uh, battle damage and uh, wearing, I should say, uh, but I am just gonna add this bit in just to show you as well. So. Just using one of my cheap nylon brushes, just uh, gradually building up a little bit of uh, wear on the cloak, mostly focusing on the bottom. So just looking to do some little scratches as well. And of course, just some stippling as well. And now just using a torn bit of my one of my Warhammer miniature cases. Um, however, a sponge, a kitchen sponge, um, or an equivalent of uh, would work just fine as well. And with most of the paint off, uh, just gonna begin sponging some of that German gray on just to add a little bit more of an effect. And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe today, and comment below of something that you might like to see me do in the future. And I will see you again in the next one.